Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Cassie if you're new here and welcome to Cassie's Castle. For today's video, we are doing a purchaser pass. This is for the month of March. There's been so many new releases lately and I'm so excited to discuss them with you because there's always some things that I just love and then some things that are just so bad and I can't stand and you guys seem to love these videos. If you're interested, make sure you guys give it a thumbs up, make sure you guys subscribe, do all the things. Let's get started. We're gonna start with some new bags there's been a couple new park releases for loungefly the first one is this yellowy gold it honestly reminds me of the golden state warriors which i'm from the bay area so like go warriors but that's literally what this bag reminds me of so it's like kind of cool i don't think i would personally buy this i'm not a huge fan of the holographic kind of bags they did a similar design for the 50th anniversary and it was like the pink iridescent kind of bag and i just don't like when most most of the bag is iridescent. I would prefer it to be mostly sequins with the pop of iridescent, if that makes sense. I don't think I'll be purchasing this one, but if you are a Loungefly collector, I think a bag like this will be worth a lot of money in the future. So I would recommend purchasing it if you plan to like resell because I feel like this would be like a high resale value knowing that it is a sparkly ear Disney release, you know? That's just how it is. They also came out with a matching spirit jersey and actually the spirit jersey I really like and also this is part of the 50th Walt Disney World 50th anniversary so I don't know if they're coming out with new 50th anniversary collections like all year long but this is like the fourth or fifth collection that they've done so far for the 50th anniversary I don't think I would purchase it because you guys know I'm not a spirit jersey kind of girl but this is really cute I love the shade of blue the pops of gold and of course that it's 50th anniversary just makes it 10 times better so very cute they do have a matching pair of ears that matches the backpack once again not a huge fan of these colors so i'll be skipping on the ears and i will also be skipping on the hat so basically this whole entire collection i'm just skipping over if you love like gold and blue kind of colors i think this collection is perfect for you let's talk about another lounge fly so this lounge fly is supposed to be released on the disney cruise line and actually this one i think is really pretty i love the shade of blue i love that it's quilted and and of course that it has rhinestones and a really cute mini bow it looks like it says like the wish cruise i don't know if that's like the name of the cruise or what but it does say wish on the lounge fly logo or like the lounge fly plaque i will probably skip over it just because i do have the denim lounge fly from amazon and it kind of has a similar vibe but i think if i was on the cruise i would end up purchasing it but since I'm not going on a cruise and I'm not gonna see it in person, it's like one of those things that like if I see it in person, I'd buy it. But if I don't see it in person and I just order it online, I probably will skip over it. But I do think it's really pretty. I don't know. I think I need to see more pictures of it. It's like a maybe. It's really cute, but like I could definitely live without it, you know? Next up, we do have another lounge flight collection. I wanna say like World Showcase kind of collection. It's like super bright with the colors, like super colorful collection. And it just says Walt Disney World on it. It's called the Disney Vault Balloon Collection. It may be another 50th anniversary kind of thing. I'm not really sure. I hate this. Like this is probably like my least favorite thing ever. I don't like all these colors. And I just don't like the way the balloon looks. Like I know it's supposed to be like a world, like a globe kind of design, but I'm just not really into it. I'm not really into these colors, like the orange and the purple, pink kind of shade with the blue. It's just too much for me and I will never buy this. Definitely no to a spear jersey. I'm not a fan of this lounge fly either. And there is a matching bucket hat, but I will be passing on this whole collection entirely. And there's a matching water bottle. The water bottle is not bad. I think the water bottle is probably like the cutest thing in the whole collection, but not my favorite. I just want to say if like you like any of these things, like go and buy it. Like I'm not telling you that it's ugly that like you can't buy it. I just don't think that I would purchase it. And I just want to let you know in case you were interested in my thoughts, but I'm not telling you you have ugly taste. I literally could care less what other people wear. If you want to buy it, go buy it. I'm just it's just for fun okay you guys Disney came out with the coach collection and this has like been like the most highly talked about thing besides the Sony Clover at Target collection I feel like I actually really love this collection the price point is a lot so I don't think I'll be buying anything but 
it is really cute they came out with four pairs of ears you guys and they're supposed to be for like different parks I have a black pair for Disney World and they kind of look like these where it's just like a plain leather and then they have like little emblems on it which are so freaking cute I wouldn't get the black pair just because I have these you know but they are really cute and they're part of the Disney 50th celebration ears is what I'm assuming. Super cool. They also have a red pair. I think these are for Disneyland Paris. They have a yellow pair, which I'm not sure what the yellow pair is for. Maybe those are for Paris. I don't know. They are really cute. My favorite pair though is the white pair, just because I don't have any white ears that are like mostly white that can like match with everything and they're also the Disneyland pair of ears and Disneyland is my home park you guys know I'm a ride or die Disneyland fan and it's my favorite park so I definitely would love these and I don't know they're just so cute the little cherries it has a little Donald Duck on it I think the red pair is also really cute because it's more like a Minnie Mouse kind of themed um, whereas the white pair has like Goofy and Mickey which aren't like my favorite kind of characters but I do think I would still pick the white pair. I would have loved to see like Daisy Duck on the white pair. I think that would have been really cute. Yeah, they are $295, so I will not be purchasing these. I don't think any pair of ears should be $300, so I'll be skipping over them. But if someone wants to start like a GoFundMe and wants to buy me these ears, <laughs> please do I would love these in the collection they also have a crossbody which is super cute they have a jacket honestly the sweatshirt kind of gives me like Gucci vibes like I feel like Gucci would kind of come up with this kind of design which makes it even cooler and then we have like this cute backpack a duffel bag there are so many things in this collection once again out of my tax bracket so we're not gonna be getting that. Such a cool collection. Let me know if you're getting anything from this collection because I'm so jealous of you. You were so lucky. Also have a another lounge fly, which is a Tomorrowland lounge fly. And this is on Shop Disney. I'm not sure if it's still available, but I think it still is if you want to check their website. I'm gonna skip over this one. It's like not my favorite. I do see that it is Tomorrowland, and I'm hoping that they'll do one for every single land because I feel like the Fantasyland bag will be right up my alley. Just like lots of pinks and blues and sparkliness, and I would love that. Hoping that's kind of the collection or the vibe that we're getting this year. The only time will tell. Tomorrowland, not my favorite land. Honestly, it's probably like my least favorite land of all of the parks, so I'm not like attached to Tomorrowland and also I'm just not like a huge holographic kind of girl. So I'll be skipping over these. There are a matching pair of ears which I do think are really cute. I don't know if I'll buy them but I think if I see them in person I may be tempted to buy them but I haven't ordered these online. They are really cool though. They're like sparkly on the ears and we have like this purple bow. I'm, I'm like really into these. These are like you know like on my radar not like dying to have them but like if i came across them i probably would make the purchase another pair of ears are from bubble bar and bubble bar has been releasing like a princess collection which i'm so excited about and i can't wait to see what other princesses we have so at first we have the tiana ears which are to die for i love the color green i love the gold crown like these are absolutely a must in my collection i just i'm into it the next pair they came out with are these aerial ears and honestly I'm kind of disappointed I think it's the bow that is throwing me off I'm not sure I'm comparing them to my favorite pair of ears which are these aerial ears they're the seashells and they have like a sparkly bow like I don't know something about the bow on the bubble bar ones aren't my favorite however I will say I love that it's gold and like a champagne shade and I love that it has pearls on it which makes me kind of want to add pearls to this one and I feel like I'd love these even more. I think I would need to see these aerial ones in person just to see like I'm sure they're probably like 10 times prettier in person than they are in the pictures but from the pictures they're not like my absolute favorite but I am tempted to buy it because it's Bolivar and because it's aerial. You know what I mean? But yeah I think I prefer the Tiana over the aerial for sure. But I don't know. Let me know your thoughts on these. I'm really like in between on how I feel about them. I want to say they're lounge fly ears, but I don't know. But these are the pretzel ears. There is a matching lounge fly for this pretzel bag. I'm just not really into like the pretzel one. I know they had a waffle collection, which I think the waffle is a lot cuter than this pretzel. But like if you're like a Disney snacks fanatic and you want snacks on like everything, then I think these ears are perfect for you. These just aren't my favorite and I definitely won't be buying these. Next pair of ears are these super 
super cute orange bird ears and these were on shop disney and i had them in my cart and they sold out at first i wasn't sure if i was gonna get them just because i'm not really like a huge orange bird person i know it's like really big within the disney world community it's just not really big in disneyland so that's why i wasn't like gravitated towards them but i do think that the design is really cute i love that it's clear oranges i think orange but looks so cute i love that it has like little flowers i don't know i just think they're a really cute pair of ears and if they restocked them on shop disney or if i came across them in person i would 100 percent pick these up next pair of ears i think the internet went crazy for these it's the new wandavision or like wanda pair of ears i love wandavision i love the show i love wanda i think she's such a cool character i'm just not gravitated towards these ears i know people love them and i love i know people that are huge marvel fans will be so into these I'm just like not a huge Marvel person and like you guys can see my collection is like mostly like sparkly and like pretty kind of things like princessy not really like the Marvel universe I don't have any of the Marvel ears I know they had Captain America they have Loki and now they have these Wanda ears I think they're really cool but just I don't think I would buy them for myself let me know if you're one of the people that went crazy for these and bought them next pair of ears are turning red now turning red was so good I did watch turning red recently and I loved it and I need to watch it again it is such a cute movie and I just I don't know I just love the whole thing and they have a lot of turning red merch out right now the first thing are these ears and I personally am just not a huge fan of these ears I feel like the ears just look way too orange instead of like red if you know what i mean and i feel like that's like kind of the theme around the entire collection where most of the merch is orange and it's not really red so i'm not super into these ears i mean they're cool if like you're a huge turning red fan i'm just not gonna purchase these i think they would have been cuter honestly if it just had the panda on both sides i don't really like seeing may's face on it like i don't know i just kind of like throws it off for me like one may and one panda like i would have loved like two pandas and i think i would have bought them the other standout item from the uh, turning red collection is the uh, oh what's the name of that band for love for town right i think it's called for town they have like a cool t-shirt and i know it's been sold out everywhere and they sold out so fast on shop disney so that tea is actually really cool i'm not sure if i'm a huge fan of like the acid wash kind of material i kind of wish it was like a plain black I don't know. I will probably end up buying it just because I love the band. That's like the one thing that like kind of threw me off and like what I would change about it is I like, would want it to be like just a plain black t-shirt or even like a heather gray kind of t-shirt instead of the acid wash. But I still think it's really cool and I know a lot of people have it and if it restocked i would probably buy it these ears i need they are the yellow sequined ears and i just love all things sequins and all things pretty and these yellow ones remind me of bell and i just i don't know i love this yellow color i'm really hoping they come out with the launch fly for this i think there needs to be a whole yellow sequin collection i think it would do really well and i would just love it the pair of ears remind me of the mint green collection which i do have i do have the mint ears and i just love it i love the big satin bow i love the sparkly yellow i just love the color like everything about the sequin ears are 100 percent a must for me i will be stocking the shop disney website for these there's another lounge fly i forgot to mention there is a new disney parks lounge fly and this one is all black with pops of hot pink and we have the castle they did come out with a pair of ears kind of earlier this year or maybe it was last year i'm not really into like hot pink and black like i feel like they kind of do this a lot when it's like castle themed and i'm not really sure why but it's not my uh, cup of tea and i will not be buying these i think they're it's cool because it has the castle on it but just the black and the hot pink is just like not really my vibe I'm not gonna be purchasing this but i'm interested to know if you guys are buying these and a lot of people bought the ears so let me know if you are gonna get the matching backpack if you already have the ears so now uh, there's some other collections we have this spirit jersey which is a marvel spirit jersey i think it's so cool but once again i'm not a marvel kind of girl or spirit jersey really so i am just not gonna buy these but i think if you're a marvel fan this is actually really cool honestly i kind of wish it was just the marvel print without the red details i know like 
the red is like essential for like marvel but i actually think it would look cooler if it just had the marvel logo in red and didn't have like all the details on the side and the back like i kind of just like it more plain a bunch of new t-shirts that have been released i am really gravitating towards this thumper t-shirt it's like a sage green it has thumper on it and she has like this little flower in her mouth and all these flowers around her i think that's so cute for spraying i would love a little oversized fit i think that'd be really cute i think the yellow one is also really cute with like mickey on it i think it's really fun it's like the only two that i really like next we have a lily pulitzer x disney collection i think this is also a really popular collection that was recently released i didn't purchase anything and i don't think i'm planning on getting anything but the one thing that i really like from the collection is the tumbler you guys know i just love tumblers i don't really know why i just like cups I don't even use them like every day of my life. I just think that they're so cute and I just can't resist. I love this one. I think it's really pretty and I love that it has flowers on it. There's a little castle on it. We have Minnie and Mickey and I don't know. It's just really cute. I wouldn't order this online, but if I saw it, like... I wouldn't be upset if I bought it. You know what I mean? I also really liked the notebook. I think the notebook's really cute. And that backpack is also kind of cute. I don't know if I'd buy it. I think it's like more of a canvasy instead of like leather. So I probably wouldn't buy that. But I think the tumbler and the notebook are adorable. Next is another collection that was released. And it's a Vera Bla vera bradley collection with um disney there were two things that i really loved in the collection my favorites were definitely the seashell pouch and then i also love the crocs i thought the crocs were really cute i already have crocs so i don't think it's necessary to buy them but maybe the croc charms i may be tempted to buy like ariel themed croc charms on my white crocs for the summertime that would be really cute i think that's like the one thing that i would buy probably the croc charms over the pouch but I do think the pouch is really cute. Let me know if you guys got anything from this collection. I know it was like selling out like crazy. Okay, we have two more lounge flies. These are on Shop Disney actually. The first one is black and it has like, I don't know, just like little Disney rides on it. I'm not a huge fan of all over print bags. I'm already, I'm like extra picky on the all over print bag. This one, not really my favorite. I don't really like the colors and I don't know, nothing about it is just like screams me you know so i will skip on that one the next one is also a cruise a disney cruise bag it's like that sunset i know we just we discussed the sunset ears kind of a while back and i told you i hated them and that's why i flipped out the backpack i don't know it's just like not doing it for me i don't know it just seems so boring something about it is just boring like it's just not giving what it's supposed to give i don't know how to make it better but like it's just not it for me. I would 100% pass on both of these bags. We have some new New Limos were released at Shop Disney. These are the Nick Wilde and Judy Hopps New Limos, and they're so cute. I love Zootopia. I think it's such an underrated movie, and I think it's so good, and I wish they had more merch for Zootopia. I do collect New Limos. I don't think I would purchase them as a new emos i think they are really cute okay we have two more collections to go through they're both like home themed so the first one is this winnie the pooh collection i'm obsessed with winnie the pooh collection and i kind of really want to buy it it has like a soap dispenser and there's a towel holder and there's also these like three jars which are so cute my favorite are the jars for sure we have like a honeycomb but it's white so it looks really simple and it doesn't scream disney on top you have piglet Pooh, and tigger and they just look so cute like next to each other i don't know i think this is definitely something i would consider purchasing i just love them and i think they'd look so cute in like future kitchen like i would just i don't know i love it other thing i'm considering from the collection is the towel dispenser holder i think it's so cute and like minimal because it's all white i think if it was like bright red and orange like i would not be into it but the fact that everything is like wooden and white is just it's so cute and aesthetic and just like little pops of disney i'm really into that as well so cute the very last collection that we have is by mary poppins and they have so many different things i don't know if i love it or if i hate it like i think i love the colors like i love the pinks the whites but i also kind of feel like it's way too busy like i just feel like there's so much going on like there's quotes there's like all these like buildings in the background that are pink and then you have like her like mary poppins in the middle and then you got the pink ones and then i don't know i think it's just like a lot going on which is why i probably wouldn't purchase 
it but i don't know it's still like cute have like a tea collection for mary poppins like it makes sense but i don't think i would purchase these just because i feel like there's too much going on compared to like the winnie the pooh collection where it's mainly very minimal and just like pops of the poo characters so yeah i think i would skip over the mary poppins collection but it is like like in theory it's really cute it just doesn't do it for me that is it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it let me know if there's anything in this video that you would purchase or things that you like absolutely hate like let me know i would love to read them and talk to you guys about it in the comments i always love these videos they're so fun and i love reading what you guys have to say about everything if you guys enjoyed it give it a thumbs up make sure you guys subscribe and i will see you guys in the next one bye guys